Hi and welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here and today we do have a bookish box to unbox and I'm very excited because I do believe that this might include the fourth wing book. So I think I could be totally wrong but I think I remember that they announced fourth wing and normally I do not check the books that are coming out for bookish box just because I do like being surprised but because they've been so backlogged I did want to check to make sure I wasn't buying books that I would eventually get from Bookish Box. So I'm really excited because I have been holding out on getting Fourth Wing simply because I found out Bookish Box was doing it. If it's the June Adult Bookish Box, then it should be Fourth Wing. So hopefully I'm right. So let's go ahead and open it and find out what we got. So I was correct. This is the Adult June Bookish Box. So let's go through our newsletter really, really quickly. I think we know the drill at this point. It's the hello, welcome to Bookish Box. Here are your book options. Just know if you're not familiar with Bookish Box, you can choose to get a book only from either their adult or young adult boxes or both of them if you want. You can also do book and goodies like I do. You can get the book, goodies, and t-shirt. And again, they have a young adult box and they have an adult box, which next year is gonna be changing a little bit, but I'm excited for the changes. Then the newsletter goes into the details of the young adult box from June. If you're interested in what that box looked like, check out my young adult June bookish box unboxing on my channel. Then it gets into the adult box, which I'll be reading what's in the newsletter about those items when I reveal them. Finally, they have some fun content and this one is kind of doing a different destination for specific book tropes. So the, our first stop is the Bermuda Love Triangle. So if you're into love triangles in books, they have a few recommendations, which include Felix Ever After, The Summer I Turned Pretty, and These Hollow Valves. They also highlight some of the items in their shop. And then our next destination is Faux Mance Island. So fake romance book recommendations. Then they have their Spotify playlist and then information about their social media. And that's pretty much the gist of the newsletter. The only other thing we need to know is a reminder of what our theme is this month because I sure shit don't remember anything except apparently the book because that is what I was waiting for. So our theme for our June adult bookish box is tip the scales. And as we can see, there are dragons. So fourth wing is coming. Let's go ahead and get into our items. First off, we have this, which is not a listed item. The last adult bookish box we got, there was an issue. So this is the corrected cover, if I can get it out. And as we can see, this is the cover that was printed and it's, you know, not quite clean. So let's put the new cover on. Okay, and here is the reprinted cover and absolutely. So everything looks more centered. Things are more clean. It looks gorgeous. So again, that item wasn't necessarily part of this box. That item was a reprint of the cover of the last adult bookish box we got, which was the May 2023 adult bookish box. On to the items for this box. First item we have says bookish book storage. So this is what it looks like coming out. We need to fold it to make it what it's actually supposed to be. So as you can see on the bottom, there's clips. So you clip each side to so do that first, I believe. Either that or else I'm doing this out of order and you shouldn't listen to me, but this is how I'm gonna do it. To clip each corner and then you line up these lines and you run this flap through the rinse repeat on this side. So you line up them, you run it through the bottom one, both of them at the same time to pull it through. And then there you go. It is storage. It's got handles. Not as sturdy as I'd like, but it's how they get it to fit in the box without already having it assembled. Because obviously if it was made of plastic, the box would have to be big enough to hold something this big. So I understand why it's not sturdy. I guess the way around that would be to include something that goes to the bottom to kind of force it to stay open and not be as flimsy. And that could still fit into the box because it would just be a flat, you know, thing that you put at the bottom of it. But anyway, this is Darling. I do like it. I really like the design of the book with the dragon. 
Bookish Book Storage. Transform your organizing experience into an epic adventure with this new Bookish Box Storage Bin. Its eye-catching dragon design adds a touch of mythical charm to any room designed by at the Bookish Box. Our next item says Dragon Bookshelf Garland. As we can see, there's a trend here with the dragons. There's a lot of things that I've liked in the bookish boxes I've received and the owl crates I've received, but this might be the coolest thing. So this is a garland. So this can go across your bookshelves and it's dragons. Like this is super cool. And obviously, as you guys can see, I do like decorating my bookshelves as much as I can. I don't do a lot because I cram books into my bookshelves. Like my bookshelves are double stacked. So there's books behind the books that you can see. Um, so I don't have a lot of room for decorating just because I have to be mindful of my space. So garlands really are one of the few ways that I can decorate my shelves, which I am so excited that they did this. I'm not going to put it up quite this second so I can't show you guys, but know that I'll do it soon and hopefully you'll be able to see it once I have it done in future videos. Wyvern Bookshelf Garland. After reading this book, we know you are going to be dragon obsessed. Enhance your bookshelf with our gorgeous Wyvern Garland. Perfect for fantasy lovers, this intricately crafted garland will bring a sense of magic and wonder to your personal library. Designed by At The Bookish Box. And just as a heads up, if you guys hear crying or anything like that in the background, like meowing, that is my little baby Merlin. He, he's not really a baby, he's like two now, but he's sick, he has UTI, and he's on medication that makes him very, very high. He is very out of his mind and he doesn't feel good. And the next item we have is an enamel TBR spinner. So here it is, and you can just spin it and... You should do it flat, not up and down, but you spin it and then it can point to romanticy, spicy, contemporary, sports, paranormal, or historical. Having trouble deciding on the genre of your next read, we've included the perfect tool for you. This enamel TBR spinner includes six different romance genres that you can spin to choose from. Next we have this box that we're just going to open. Here is the item that was inside. It says, hope remains while all the company is true. There's a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien. I believe it's from Lord of the Rings, possibly The Hobbit. Ceramic trinket plate. Keep your preciouses safe and sound with our beautifully crafted ceramic trinket dish. Inspired by the world of Lord of the Rings, this exquisite piece will make a stunning addition to any Tolkien fans collection while also serving as a stylish storage solution to remind you that hope remains while all the company is true. Designed by At The Bookish Box. And our last bookish item before we get to the box is, of course, our pocket book bay. So our pocket book bay is Slade and I don't recognize that character, so it's probably from a book I haven't read yet. Don't forget to peel the film off. And I finally got... <laughs> mine it took me forever so take off that film and then here is our pocket book bay introducing the sixth book bay in our 2023 pocket book bay collection slade from raven kennedy's the plated prisoner series these collectible pocket book bays are perfect for display or to be used as bookmarks designed by the talented at fern and amaya that is why i didn't recognize slade because i have not read the plated prisoner and i know i really need to you know that this is also in the box and it's just an advertisement of another book as well as a candle company which I checked out and they seem like they have some really good candles and I think perfume. My favorite item in this box is going to be absolutely the garland. Hands down thought it was amazing. I cannot believe they have not done a garland sooner like it just seems like such a cool idea. I'm really looking forward to hanging them up and making my bookshelves pretty with dragons. Let's go ahead and move on to our book, which is Fourth Wing. I'm so excited that we finally got this. Our feature title is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaris. 20-year-old Violet Soringale was supposed to enter the Scribe Quadrant, living a quiet life among books in history. Now the commanding general, also known as her tough as Talon's mother, has ordered Violet to join the hundreds of cadets striving to become the elite of Navarre dragon riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away because dragons don't bond to fragile humans. They incinerate them. 
With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, most would kill Violet to better their own chances of success. The rest would kill her just for being her mother's daughter, like Zayden Morrison, the most powerful and ruthless wing leader in the writer's quadrant. She'll need every edge her wits can give her just to see the next sunrise. Yet with every day that passes, the war outside grows more deadly. The kingdom's protective wards are failing and the death toll continues to rise. Even worse, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. Friends, enemies, lovers. Everyone at Basquiat War College has an agenda because once you enter, there are only two ways out. Graduate or die. So our exclusive Lux hardcover edition does have a beautiful hardcover illustration. Stenciled edges all the way around. We have four overlay pages. Illustrated end pages, and of course, is signed by the author. That is all the details of our exclusive Bookish Box edition of Fourth Wing. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to read this. So, because I got so many book boxes lately, because Bookish Box is now like cranking them out, I have like three, three more books to finish before I get to this one. Currently reading This Dark Descent, which was the October Young Adult Owl Crate book. And then I have Court of the Undying Seasons, which was the Young Adult June 2023 bookish box book. Then I have Starling House, which was the Adult October Owl Crate book. And then I can finally get to Fourth Wing. So gotta wrap all those up. I'm like so thrilled. I have this in my hands though. So excited. And hopefully I'll be able to get the sequel once I'm done with this. Or knowing me, I'm gonna wait for the bookish box to do a special edition of it. I don't even know. Choices and options. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait or not. I've heard fantastic things about this book, so I'm like so excited to read it. Don't forget to like this video if you like dragons and make sure you subscribe so you can join me for more bookish fun. Have a good weekend. I'm gonna go get to reading so I can get to fourth wing.